Hi guys and welcome back. So today we're, well what I'm doing right now is setting up the new testing setup currently. As you can tell it's right here. Right now I have it set up with a Matek F405 CTR, Flycolor ESC, Emacs 2400 KV, these are the 2306. And we're going to be testing this whole setup complete and monitoring the noise. However, there was always a little issue. Well, there wasn't a little issue. I was scared shitless to just stand next to this while it runs. You have no idea. So what I had to do is, because usually I pause the, the, the oscilloscope right there manually. And I don't have any plexiglass. I'm not going to wait another week to order some and build something. And I just don't have the time for that. So I had to figure out a way to get this to trigger manually without me being next to it. Now, one of the ideas that I just got right now was to create a servo, and I'll just take like, uh, what is it, like a FR Sky transmitter with me, and I just click it once it's done, and it'll, it'll press this button here for me to stop everything. But then I remember these have triggers, you know, that has like a, what is it, uh, they, they have, uh, what do you call them, um, they have ex these oscilloscopes have external triggers, and plus this one's a four channel from Siglint, thanks to Siglint again. So what I've decided to do, this one doesn't have an external trigger, but I have four channels, so I use channel two on Arduino here as you can tell right there and what it does is it just sends a signal to make this high uh, which is you see these lines it's just going up and down that means it's turning like for example if I connect the LED on this right now it would turn on the LED turn off the LED turn on the LED turn off the LED and what I'm gonna set is set the oscilloscope once it sees the supposedly LED turn on to capture everything now I have to sit down and time it perfectly uh, so after I click start, I have this set up on the script to start. What I do is actually um, I click start and I run all the way to the back room over there and I hide over there. It, it's really scary. You guys have no idea. I usually do this with motor testing also because if a propeller disintegrates, I'm basically screwed. This thing is like right next to me, like right, right next to me. Like this is where I usually sit right here. So yeah so that's what's currently going on right now I did one test uh, I did a couple tests actually already with the setup and it was pretty interesting on the things that I saw but I want to do more testing but I was afraid and it was just you know I wasn't really capturing the full thing because by the time I run back here all the data is gone now I could, what I could do is I can make this listen for a lot longer but then I lose resolution and we don't want that we want to keep it in the same uh, 500 milliseconds per division here so we can gain the most amount of resolution. Um, so that's what's currently going on right now. Um, I'm going to do this the first test right now. Right now I'm just going to calculate how long it takes for the test to run and see how you know how fast should I run. Right now I'll make a wireless one with like a ESP8266. But currently the Arduino Nano is just working fine. It's just as two wires connected to the oscilloscope on channel two, and it's doing this. Uh, this is I just coded this basically. It's it's really simple. It's like how many lines of code? well like eight lines of code but I'm gonna drop it because I don't need the turning off so basically what I would do is right before I leave here I would click this here which resets it and it's just gonna be hardcore programmed like just hard coded in there that after I click that at a certain amount of seconds to uh, turn on the LED to basically pause the current uh, sample that we really need at the perfect time so it's, it's gonna be pretty interesting um, you guys are gonna be pretty in, in the results are pretty crazy actually it's just I, I don't know what to think of it just yet but good thing I have these the crappy solo ESC's here and I wanna see what's the difference because I'm gonna keep it for later that'll be coming up maybe today uh, right now I'm just doing the setup just finishing the final setup I've done testing everything is working all motors I can do cons I could do everything with four motors now and I'm just very happy and excited and I just wanted to make like just a quick update video but yeah, and I've also obviously as you can tell there's the FPV camera. The VTX is back here. I just had nowhere else to put it, and it doesn't really matter. So the VTX is right there, and um, yeah, and this is just holding some other wires, you know, holding the thingy so they don't short out. This is the the power that I'm listening on. I'm listening on direct power right now, and uh, once this focuses, there we go. So as you can tell right there, oh, well, you can't tell, but if I remove this, you could see that there's a wire there. And this is holding it so it doesn't short out or touch anything. That's why I have the real ACC uh, arms right there and back in place. So, yeah. So this is going to be pretty cool, pretty interesting. These are pretty noisy-ass motors. Uh, and they're just super awesome motors. And um, I took them off one of my favorite quads, which was the old frog that I had. Uh, with actually the old Maytag. 
So, and it had the old RAS ESCs. And then I think I replaced those just to test out something else. And then I just never got time to continue it. So I just decided to take it apart. So I need to make two setups now. I need to make one setup for 4 one ESCs. And this setup is currently for obviously single ESCs. And what this setup does also is it tests flight controllers, uh, how susceptible their noise. And soon I'll be incorporating the noise test. I also got a infrared uh, heat camera. I'm waiting for it to arrive, uh, which will actually just have a constant look like this. And we can see what is going on, what's getting hot, and uh, we could just monitor you know, all kinds of things. Thermals, we could do stress testing. Uh, obviously the noise testing I don't do with, uh, I, I won't do with a power bench because that's not really reliable. We got batteries, so um, yeah, we got more batteries there. So it's gonna be pretty cool and pretty interesting. I can't wait to get started. So just wanna make this quick update video because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to update a video today. And um, just a little something of what's really going on right now. And um, I still haven't even flown that quad right there. Um, it's It's been just thunderstorms. We've been just getting blasted with thunderstorms. And um, yeah, there's really nothing I can do. I have so many quads to take out, as you can tell right there. So it's just, um, yeah. Anyways, uh, so this is going to be pretty cool, pretty interesting. And uh, I'll try to make it as summarized and as detailed as possible and with a lot of information packed. And uh, right now I'm just uh, getting it down and uh, seeing what's up. Oh yeah, and by the way, soon I will be releasing a nice little sale on the Tico 32 4 one ESCs if you're interested in that. I'll probably have that sale up in a couple hours. Uh, they're already there. I have a couple in stock. And um, it should be pretty interesting, as you can tell right there. So yeah, it's going to be pretty cool. And um, what else do we have? Uh, that's really it, guys. So um, just stay tuned. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions or you want me to try something, Please let me know. Obviously, I will be recording the FPV footage. We're going to test this and the all-in-one, the Dal RC all-in-one flight controller. Um, this is this is currently should be a pretty good pack right there. These ESCs with that flight controller, I'm curious to see how well this is going to perform, uh, especially with four motors, these ESCs. And then obviously, I'll use a really crappy ESC to kind of give you a comparison. And then we'll also use the best of the best, which is the Tico 32. And uh, we'll see how well that plays. And I also have a Dal RC engine, but the 4-in-1 ESCs, let me just get the single ESCs down first. Then we're going to go ahead and jump into the 4-in-1 ESCs. And that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, yeah, and I'll keep you updated. See you guys. Take care.